guys, it's Jackson, yeah, boy, Swag Savage. <laughs> and the babies are asleep, and it's just me, my mom, and my dad. Watch ridiculousness, and they just telling me to go in the back and do my homework. They just want to be alone, I don't have any homework. They just stuck with me. And we're about to watch Jumanji as a group, together. Right, guys? Now I got an idea. How about you go read a book? When's the last time you read a book? When's the last time you read? Slow down, there, Hercules. Who's? What are you talking about? Jumanji tech, you, technically used to be a book, but now they turned it into a movie. So but if if you don't get the hell away from me, like like away away, like a five, four, three. to be asleep right now, he wouldn't be. But I need to take his passport picture and look at him. Go figure. Go figure. You ready, Rowie? You ready for your, your close-up? You ready to take your passport picture? Oh, you're gonna get to travel. International poppy, look at you. <laughs> Come here, you don't own the place. Come back. Rowie. Come. Rowie, go see Papa. He's going to put your coat on. Or they can totally employ you here. So, you know, nothing annoys me more than when I specifically call and ask for something, and I'm told one thing, and then something else is happening. For example, I call ahead and I say, hey, UPS store, do you do passport photos? Sure we do. Great, I'm going to swing by in the morning with my two babies to get their passport photos taken. Sure, great, no problem. You get there this morning. Hey, oh my gosh, you're the one with the two kids. Yeah, I'm here to take the passport pictures. Oh, well, the printer hasn't been working. So the printer hasn't been working, but you choose to tell me this now when I came with my two babies to take the picture. As opposed to telling me this last night over the phone so I can find someplace else to go take my picture. So what am I doing now? Getting the picture emailed to Dwayne Reed so I can print it here. I could have came here to begin with. Guys, we got a photo shoot today for this Ellis brand apparel we have coming out. I'm going to drop a pic, just a little sneak peek so y'all can see what we got going on. But um, these allergies, man, they kicking my tail, yo. Like, my eyes been puffy all day. I got to shave. Got to trim my lineup up. And I can't even complain because Khadiz been suffering from this postpartum hair loss. Yo, that shit is real. No, no, for real talk. When she looked, when she had Jackson, like from three to six months, like she started losing her hair around here. It always comes back, but from like three to six months, it falls out, and she really can't do anything with her hair. That's why she ended up cutting it short last time. So now that she, you know, had pregnancies back to back, it seems as if it's coming out a little more than normal. So she's been stressed out about it. I was gonna push back the photo shoot, like you know what I'm saying, we can wait, but she was just like, no, I'm not waiting no more. I'm tired of this shit. I'm going to put too much stuff on the back burner. I'm going to go to Janelle. I'm going to get a wig. I was like, I was like, okay, you're going to get a wig. But, I mean, unless this is like a Beyonce wig that's going to transform your whole forehead piece, I don't know how that's going to work. She was like, stop trying to play me, DeVal. Stop trying to play me. I could work magic with this. Trust me. So, we're going to see what she put together. Janelle is a magician. So, we're going to see what she can do. I know Kay going to throw the face on. That's what she do. But just pray for us so that we can get this photo shoot done. We're already an hour behind, and I still got to go to get this T-shirt uh, finished at the T-shirt shop. So just pray for us. We're going to get this done so we can get... So I'm here in a wig shop, and I don't even know where to start. <laughs> my hairstylist, Janelle, sent me in here to buy a wig that she can then use for my hair. And I don't even know what I'm looking at. Let me FaceTime her. The struggle. 
So Janelle is here helping me to get my entire life. All like together. all of it. All of it. Because all, all of this is I'm gone. Young. So we need all of it together. No, no, no. Oh man. Yeah, I know. She was trying to she was trying to be like, no, this not that bad. No, it's that bad. No. So what's about to happen? Because I took a video of me in the wig store not knowing what to get. Oh, so Lord. I just took a ton of pictures and was like, Janelle, which so, one to get? We're gonna bust this. So down. she's about to chop and screw this joint real quick. We should time lapse this so he can see yeah. how it how it goes. Yeah. You got a tripod? Yo, people be killing me when they hit me with the, you know, everything will be fine as soon as the baby gets here. You get some time to relax. No, you don't get no time to relax. Because now the baby is here. And on top of that, the hormones from the pregnancy is still here. So you still got to deal with the race car cries. And then from the woman's standpoint, they body go through changes. Because the weight doesn't just fall off when you have two babies back to back. And then the postpartum hair loss, that's what Kadeen is struggling with the most. Like she hates that she hated that with jackson that's why she ended up cutting the hair off went to the short joint which i like i like the short joint but she wanted to grow her hair back so now you know she was losing her hair a little bit with cairo she got pregnant again so it all came back in real full so now it's at that point now from three to six months where it all starts to fall out so she's like stressed about it and she's blaming me she's devon why why devon why did you do this to me why and i i didn't do it like i didn't create postpartum hair loss baby i don't know what it is it's like shut up shut up devon oh, shut up so you got to shut up because you don't even want to argue with a, a woman who's dealing with sleep deprivation she got three kids now she has a little bit of extra weight on her and she's looking at you as the reason why so you just be like all right all right my bad my bad i'm a, i'm apologizing for postpartum healers. This is where it's at right now in my house, guys. So guys, I wake up this morning with the mega guilt trip. <laughs> Devel, uh -huh. it's your fault. I'm fat and I'm bald. Uh -huh. I, I, first of all, why do I gotta sound like That's that? That's how you sound, and That's it's not, not even my I fault. Sound. It's yes, it their fault. fault. One, two. I yeah, it is your fault. Say it, yeah. tell mommy. I can be upset about it. Let me be upset. Yo, you get this hair loss every time and it grows back. Just because you Three to six months, it grows back. It doesn't matter. Just because people say, oh, it's normal, it's supposed to happen, doesn't make me feel any better about the situation, okay? How can I be sound? bald and fat in peace? I don't even think you fat or bald, but you be complaining to me. <laughs> Every morning. You don't gotta uh, go through no changes. I'm the one I gotta go through. I don't gotta no go through. Look at my hair. My hair's thin and too, and this is permanent. It ain't coming back. Y'all be stressing me out. Nobody's stressing uh, you out. Okay. Uh, one and two. Two. <laughs> two. Sometimes I'll be wanting to be like, man, stop playing with me, play, play somebody else. But you can't do that. So that's why you find yourself in the bathroom just venting to a phone to people who you don't really know because you hope that somebody out there understands your plight. That's where I'm at right now. Y'all just pray for me. Y'all just pray for me. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy around here. I'm going crazy around here. And I ain't even the one going through it. She the one going through it. And she and I'm I'm I got postpartum hair loss too. And my shit ain't coming back. This ain't coming back. This is permanent. Permanent postpartum hair loss right here. Alright? I break it down. <sighs> Sorry, I'm back. I'm back. I'm gonna just go out the back. There's nothing like a mad dash trying to beat the lighting outside. It seems like we always in a mad dash. We was in a mad dash at the airport. Yeah, because it's like no matter how much you plan, Murphy's Law <coughs> is always in full effect. And we have What's to rely on other people. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Okay. Facts. I was telling Gems, you, I see you. Dropping jewels on you. I see you. Dropping jewels on you. Okay. Sorry, I love my nails. Self, which is smart self. Shout out to my girl Tiana for hooking my nails up again. However. I love when your nails is done. He loves when my nails are long too. I, I won't them. tell y'all why. I'm pretty sure they know why. But yeah. <laughs> The thing is, like, you, you plan and you plan and you plan, and sometimes things are just not in your control because it's other, up to other people to get it done. And when they don't get it done don't in time... Oh, God, I don't either. Lord. Girl! Lord, let me fix Girl, that chest. We got three boys. Nobody got time for that. Sorry, I was just, like, a little flustered, us waiting, and, and now the sun is starting to... Well, there wasn't even Drink really any sun water. today. 
and there wasn't any sun today it was overcast so it was a perfect day to take these pictures but now we're a whole what like hour behind schedule mm -hmm. because we had to sit and wait for something to get done so shout out to the people who made us late now we're even later and my brother is at location waiting for us but we gonna get it done because getting it done is what we do. You know, quick, fast, and in a hurry. The good thing with us is that we know what we want. We know the shots that we want. So it should really literally And I'm a pro. Watch about... my gaze. Watch my gaze. Smiles. Smile. <laughs> Just like that. You and see that? Scene. Just like that. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Call it. Call it. Call it. Put yeah. a fork in it. It's so, yeah, done. We're always um, in a mad dash, in a rush. Come on! You know. Come on! Straight New York driving going on here. But we got our seatbelts on now, so we're good to go. Yep. So, so let's see how this happens. Boys. Let's see how. Well, mission accomplished. We made it. We made it. Just barely, I don't know if you could tell, but it actually looks brighter in the phone, but it's getting dark out here. Just like the app said, 716 sunset at like 710, it was starting to get like mm, on the border. So I'm glad we like we pushed, rushed, yeah, we pushed, rushed down we here it. and we did. Of course, on the way here, there was a cop car behind us the entire time as if they <laughs> knew that we were in a rush. Like, what are the chances of that? But we made it. We got no, no tickets, didn't get pulled over. We got the shots that we needed you know they look good in the camera and my brother's pretty spot on with it so yeah Deval was able to create a direct and the leather oh I forgot about that that wasn't a priority though no, it wasn't. um but yeah millennial royalty launching yeah we're excited Super we're excited, excited. Dope. we're excited Yo, guys, it don't get more New York than this. <laughs> yeah, I got on shorts and Tim's. With the ankle socks, though. And I feel, per yes, with, with the, the ankle, ankle socks. socks. You yeah. can't wear high socks with that. And I feel perfectly fine with it on. This is my swag, and I so don't Brooklyn. care. So Mad Brooklyn, see that? Tim's and shorts, ankle socks. That's how we do in Brooklyn. <laughs> I don't wear nothing else other than Tim's. Say something. Say something. Go ahead, say something. Put some lotion on. I don't need lotion either. I don't. Why? Listen. Why? I don't wear lotion. I don't wear lotion. Real men don't wear lotion. You see that? This is 16 years in. So I just let it be. Mine never let the next man rub up in my ankle. These are Nike. Don't play me. Don't try to play me. These are Nike shorts. Stop it. Stop it. All right? See, somebody always trying to come for you in Brooklyn. You see that? You see that? That's why I don't wear no lotion. So if I got to kick somebody with this ashy ankle, it hit harder. You kick them with the lotion angle, it kind of got a little soft texture. The ashy angle, blackout. Hit them, blackout. They knocked out. Stay over there. Smokey. I'm out. Say something to the people, yo. Yo, Smokey, you lotion your ankles? No way. And bad man. Summertime. summertime. Bad man never lotion bad man ankles. <laughs> Boop! Boop! Yeah. Boop! No, no lotion. Bad man no wear lotion. Bad man no wear lotion. Level! Level! No lotion. Level! What am I them say? No lotion, boy! <laughs> Still at the edge of the bed. Remember last year I was here with Cairo, right? Now I'm here with Cass, but this year's different. Your girl had me slide the bed all the way over to make space for the bassinet. But she still got your boy Cass in the middle of the bed. If I fall out the bed, I'm 
flowing on the radiator. chilling well I just want to talk to you a little bit because I know you've probably noticed that things aren't the same as when Jackson was a baby you know I don't know what goes on inside when you a little tiny embryo but I'm pretty sure you can see stuff and when Jackson was a baby you know everybody was in amazement of what babies can do and you know they drink the bottle and we gotta burp them oh it's cute yeah it's cute when y'all do that and drink the bottle and burp and stuff and then y'all poop and a little sticky it's cute but then, you know, we had Cairo last year and we watched him do the same thing. You know, he drank the bottle and then he pooped a little stinky, stinky poop and we burped him. So with you, it's kind of like, you know, we did this before, you know, we've been here before and there's no knock on you, but it's kind of like the novelty is gone. You know what I'm saying? And, and not for nothing, like, you know, like we just tired, you know, and your mother, it's really her fault, you know, because I, I be trying to tell her, this, huh? What you say? How long you been back there? I know we was. I, I was saying that when um, Kaz. Uh, yeah. When, I, got, I, I got my eyes and my ears on you, all right? She's back there, just be quiet. Just, just, just. Don't be whispering either. Okay. Yeah. She crazy. She crazy. Val. Huh? I hear you whispering. I'm, I wasn't whispering. I, what's going on? Guys, your girl learned her lesson. Don't mind my eyes. Allergies is kicking my ass right now. Took a Zyrtec, so I'll be fine in a couple of minutes. But right now, I look Don't like I fought Mike Zyrtec. Tyson. Everybody sent me all, the, all natural to put bee pollen on your eyes. and. So Why would I put bee pollen on my eyes? People have been sending me a bunch of all these home remedies, natural stuff. So. Listen, folks, man. Yeah, drink a gallon of apple cider vinegar. I'm all, I'm, I am not drinking a gallon of apples. <laughs> I, this shit comes through your pores. It sneaks, it seeps, it seeps through your pores. <laughs> I can't take a gallon of apple cider vinegar. Sound like my grandmother. My grandmother used to do that stuff. She put apple cider vinegar on your eyes. Your eyes be burning. I'm like, yeah, Nana, my eyes burning. Yeah, but it don't itch no more, do it, dummy? Shut up with your Bernie eyes now. Go away from me. <laughs> but you see, we going to Atlanta. Your girl learned not to pack the Bohemian suitcase. It's all the now. way over there. It, it it's the all corner. the way over there in the corner in the dark. Ooh, you see wait. it? You can't even see it. Probably got now. You can see that big ass suitcase. Probably got a dead body in there. <laughs> suitcase so damn big. Uh huh. She learned a lesson, y'all. Had to put my foot down. Once in a while, you got to do that. Kadeen, we ain't taking this suitcase, Kadeen. You understand me? Don't make me repeat myself. Got to drop down the octave. When you drop down the octave, that's when they know you're not playing no more. Then I got to drop you down to the floor. Stop. You ain't dropping Stop nothing. Like you ain't dropping nothing. Stop acting, acting like anybody's like scared of you. Ain't nobody scared of you. But wait, though. Wait till my I'm eyes ain't swollen. Wait till my eyes ain't swollen. Up, though. How about the level up? See what what is that? She got a travel skill. Travel so you gonna weigh the bags before you? It's like nine ninety nine on Amazon, so we can weigh the bags before we go. That way we can avoid what we happened last last time. Y'all lucky we didn't vlog because you know the security be all tight and stuff. But we were trying yeah. to vlog me and my mom Three super trying heavy to like bags. undo suitcases and put them back together again to make them all evenly dispersed. So, no, your mother's not coming this time. No, Mimi, sorry guys, but at I least know. I know we don't have four gallons of shampoo. True. She did have a big ass bottle of body wash. That was like, ma, come on now. Like, I'd be trying to have her back, but that one was just, that was not necessary. You ain't have to have her I back. The body really wash pack. had her back. <laughs> All that damn body wash. I actually didn't even pack toiletries like that. I packed like maybe two or three things that I might need right away. So when we get there, Amex Killer. Oh, gosh. Just pass me a cord. Because I, I can't find mine, sidebar. I don't know where my card is. It's, it's running lost. from you. It's running. <laughs> It's not. It's lost, but it's not stolen because I tracked it, so it hasn't been used. Oh, but I gotta find your Amex card. I'm gonna use yours in the meantime. Get some toiletries when we get to Atlanta. Let's see what I go to. Atl. At least we got through. some smaller bags. We're Atl, we coming, we coming, coming, we coming, 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 coming baby. We in the A. Five, five eight people. town down. Eight town down. <laughs> down.
Who, who's your rock? Who's rock? Pops going with us, not Mimi. Let me show y'all Pops' bag for the whole week. You see this? See, I'm the same way, Pops. You gotta be practical, man. You gotta be practical. These these women, I don't know what it is. Look, one bag. I could do curls with the bag. Bag probably weigh 15 pounds. Moms had two whole bags by herself. Both overweight bags. Both of them. I love my mother-in-law, but jeez, jeez. Pops could travel with me anytime. Uh, on today's episode of you should just listen to your wife, bruh. No, you should not pack your whole Look life. Look at you. I do not have my whole life. I packed way better this time around. We're, you, the issue is we should have taken two cars. Like I said, take two cars that would... Watch, now watch. You can't even... Yep. Watch. <laughs> we could have took two cars, had the kids... We couldn't even take our kids home last night because we couldn't... <laughs> Deval. Seriously? Now look at you. You about to catch a cramp in your leg. But I got in here. Are you going to be able to drive now? Can you breathe? About to tear your shoulder blade. Tear your shoulder blade trying to reach the seatbelt. Where the seatbelt at? To that, where but the seatbelt at? Though. I got it though. So what's up? So what's up? You good? Don't question me. Can you even I got move, it. Can you even move your feet from the gas to the brakes? I don't need to. We just, we just going to go 10 miles an hour. What? You all right? Take your shoulders off your ears. Your Take your shoulders off your ears. Look at your boy. Look at your boy. I was even willing to drive. Like, I wasn't even trying to sit back here and be chauffeured around. I'm like, bro, I'll drive. You drive. This will be easy. But no. It don't matter how we prepare. Your girl still finds a way to be over. I'm better, though. Most improved right here. Most improved. That's not even a real reward. What do you mean? That's some millennial shit. Most improved. That's what you give to the people who still be messing up. This is still a mess up. Don't say that because there's a lot of most improved people out there. I'm checking through. You see how she just had to swipe the card though, right? You see? You see how she had to swipe the card though? Most improved still costing me money. All right. Gang, 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 gang. Hey, guys. What's up, y'all? And Papa, we made it through security with minimal delays. Shout out to Teresa for getting us that pre-check or ensuring we had it. Apparently, we had it already because life without pre-check and three kids with milk and mad stuff. Ah, son. It ain't happening. We're not trying. Not, not the move. And the TSA agent said that she see people come through here, women by themselves with all their kids. I'm not going anywhere with all three of them by myself. Not happening. Right, Daddy? Yep. Yep. Alright. We out here. We're looking for my aunt now. She checked in a while ago. Where's Auntie Lydia? She loves dress You know how they go down. Girl. Oh my god. Cocking about last week. Uh-huh. So the trick to flying is Kay always books the flights around nap time. In the dirty, dirty. Where we at, Jax? We in the A, A town down. This is where we switch our swag up, all right? We don't say sun no more. You know we from Brooklyn, but we don't say that when we down here. So now we say shouty. See, you know what we say, bro? We say shouty. What you say? What you say, Jax? What up, shouty? What up, shouty? What it do, cuz? Like, no, you gotta you gotta stretch the cur out, stretch it out. What it do, cur? What it do, cur? Cur? And don't don't finish all of your words. You gotta just let them flow out there. 
What they do, cuz shout it. What they do, cuz shout it. What finna be like around there? What it feel like around there? Cool. Cool. See, we ready. We ready for the A. You ready, cool. mom? I'm ready. Can you do that? Can you say what they do, cuz? Cool. Always the mother's got to be party poopers. <laughs> no, I'm going to talk regular all the time. Because I am myself. I am me, Kadeem. Kadeem. It's what it do, cub. Why, your voice ain't supposed, you're supposed to make it sexy. Forget it. Right, forget it. She, she, yeah, but in your own swag. Jackson, your mom have no clue. There you go. Say it one more time. What it do, Shy, shy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She ready? Is she ready? Huh, Cairo? She ready? She definitely not ready. <laughs> but we made it to the A, folks. Yeah. Hey, babe. What's up? What's up? How was it traveling with my dad opposed to my mom this time around? Because Mimi's back home. Look, I ain't, I ain't trying to pin nobody against each other. And what? Yeah, okay, so your mother, she. She got mad extra bags, so mm -hmm. she make more work for me. But mm -hmm. she's helpful. Mm -hmm. Your father is not helpful at all. <laughs> what you mean, though? Because we, we at the security, and he's just standing there, uh, Duval, uh, <laughs> am I going to put the kids on the belt? No, Pops, the kids don't go he on the belt. You not want to put the kids through the x-ray machine. I'm like, can you grab the kids, Pops? He's like, yeah, where are they? I'm like, the short guy with the fro running down TSA, <laughs> yeah, he's with us. Kyra Can you grab out. him, please? He's like, uh, you know, security, they know how to have the kids and things. Hey, hey, guy, guy, can you bring my grandson back? <laughs> no, don't ask TSA to grab. Cairo, can you grab? Forget it. Now I got Cairo in one hand. I got two bags. Them Meanwhile, two, yep. your mom's is helpful, but then she gave me four extra bags to carry. So which one are we, which one are we going for next time? I'm bringing my mom. <laughs>